All right, let's take a look at the Python with CSV example that was posted onto Blackboard. So I'm just going to walk through the material that's here. I have uh, the Blackboard site logged in on the right, and I am using a Ubuntu environment that's hosted on DigitalOcean. And I have two terminals up, so I can switch between the two to uh, just do different things. So let's review working with data using some fundamental features in Python. As we progress, we're going to use other modules. This video is all about reviewing basic Python, just making sure that you're comfortable with the basics before we start to explore some of the more useful modules that are out there. So in this folder, Video Tutorial 01, I have a file called Insurance CSV, and if you wanted to look at some of the rows, uh, Linux has a program called Head, which is actually located th at this full path. You can uh, run it, give it a file, and it'll, by default it will show you, I think it's the first 10 lines, and if you give it an option, Two, yeah, five, three, two. Look at the first line, and we just see the header. Look at the last five lines. The tail, it's a different program. It's also located in the same folder. Which is a program which tells you which program is this going to run. By default, when you type a command in Linux, it's going to look in all of the places that your path environment variable has. So these are a bunch of different folders where it's going to look for different commands. So if I type Python, which Python, you can see I have Anaconda installed on this machine. So when I type Python, it's going to use the Anaconda Python program. But if I looked at where Where's head? If I looked in here, there are Python versions that come with Ubuntu. So the thing, when you install Anaconda, you're adding another Python program into the operating system. The benefit of that is that anything you add, you're installing libraries or modules, it's only going to impact the Anaconda environment, it's not going to interact with your operating system. If you were not using an environment manager, you could stand the risk of actually causing trouble for your operating system. Installing different things with Python could break the way the operating system works. Ubuntu relies on Python to operate. That's just a bit of an aside. So let's establish a goal practice with some Python features. We really just want to learn more about this data file. So how do I get started with Python? Well, I need to make a file. So I can use another Linux program to just make a, an empty file. Now I have another file in there, and if I use another program, cat, cat actually shows the whole file. So if I say cat insurance, it dumps the whole data file. So if I typed cat in that example, it's empty. Haven't written anything to it yet. So I'm going to use a text editor called vim. allows me to edit this text file. So I can say hello, make it right, and then if I come down here and I use cat, we can see hello there. Now I'm writing to this file. Now I haven't actually written Python code here. If I tried to use the Python program, which is installed inside Anaconda, if I tried to use that, 
it's going to fail. This is not valid Python syntax. Point I'm trying to make, we're just making a plain text file. So I'm using an editor called VI or Vim. If you're comfortable using Spider or Jupyter Labs, whatever environment you have to create a plain text file where you can run Python in a terminal like I have here is fine by me because you're going to want to be able to you saw how with the head program by default it prints out 10 lines but then we have this ability to change its behavior so it's the same program I don't have to open the code for head to change any of this behavior I just give it an option so at the end of this session I would like you to be comfortable extending your Python code in a similar way. So you can write the code one time, but have the code support these options so you can have different behavior. So to begin with, we need to open the file. So up here I'm writing the code, down here I can run it. Nothing really seemed to happen because there's nothing printing anything to the terminal. So maybe we could say something like starting application. Now we can at least see that the program ran did this line of code with open insurance CSV, open this file in read mode. This is a function. It's going to return a file handler, which I'm going to call the variable f. And that file handler has a function called read lines. It's going to return every line in that file as a list, as a Python list. So let's talk about Python lists for a second. On the terminal down here, if I just type Python, I get an interactive Python shell. That lets me play around with Python. This is great for the first time you're learning the language. You can, you can just start to write code, and you'll get the input and then the output right here. So if I say a equals 5, b equals 7, a plus b equals c, ah, there's no variable c. So you get this interactive nature. C equals A plus B. So you can start to learn what's valid syntax and what's invalid. This is a useful way to explore the language. Now, I came in here to talk about lists. Let's make a variable called D some numbers in it. Mm. By pressing the up arrow I can return to previous things or the down arrow. Put in some other data types in there too. So now if I type D of a list. So a list I can ask it what's the length and see that there's seven entries inside here. If I wanted to access the first item, the index starts counting at zero. Zero, one, two, three, four, five. Gives me A. And I can also reverse index backwards. So if I wanted to get the last item, I could put a negative number, or the third from the last item. You can also select ranges go from the, t from the second index up until but not including the fifth. Zero, one, two, three, four, five. Five, the A is not included. You can also take everything from the fifth to the end. 